Hey guys, John V here from Phone Arena. Right now I have the T-Mobile Samsung Galaxy S2 in my hands. I'm gonna I'm just gonna show you the type of performance we're getting out of the box with this final retail version. And I'm gonna run a couple different benchmark tests just to see what numbers it's gonna be able to pull in. So, so far from just looking at it, it's fairly smooth and responsive with its operation. But after checking out the other versions of the Galaxy S2, namely AT&T and Sprints, we definitely notice there's a little bit of jerkiness with its movement. Of course, we know that it uses a dual core 1.5 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon processor as opposed to the Exynos one that's used by its brothers and sisters. So again, that could have something that could contribute to its operation right now. Um, it's a little bit more noticeable with a uh, live, wall, live wallpaper, something a little bit more graphically intensive. You could tell right there that sometimes there's just that slight choppiness pause with its uh, movement, uh, not quite as buttery smooth compared to the other ver variants out there, but still, it's not really all that bad. So let's bring this back to a static wallpaper. I'm gonna quickly run the very first test, which is gonna be Quadrant, and see what uh, it'll be able to get. And we'll run it a second time, just see if we get a consistent score out of it. So here we go, we'll get Quadrant up. Let's run the full benchmark, and here we go. Now, uh, with the other versions, like the at t one, we easily got past the 3000 mark. We already ran the uh, test here once. Um, it managed to pull up 3400, at least 3400 on, on Quadrant here, but we'll see what it gets. But, but for the most part, it's a little bit under the 3000 uh, range, strangely. So these graphical tests here, this one running between 40 and 60 frames per second, this one going at a steady 60 frames per second, so it's able to handle this one a lot better. And the last one here, running at around 30 frames per second on the average here. And here we go. Let's hit yes and see what the results are. So this time 3417. So there you go. It man just put pretty much on par to what we see um, with the other handsets. So let's run it a second time and see if we get that same score here. As we said, we saw some scores below the 3000 mark, but after a little bit of time just playing around, it seems to be warming up to our taste. But again, benchmark results um, don't really um, tell you the true story of the, the handset's performance. And from what we're seeing already, not quite as, uh, as fluid with its movement uh, versus its, its siblings here. So here's the same test at 60 frames per second. And the last one should be around 30 frames per second and should be completing right about now. So here we go. As you notice, it drops down 2,500. So it's kind of strange. The majority of times we get under, just slightly under the 3,000, like 2,900 on quadrant. But every now and then it'll jump up to 3,400 3, range here. So we'll quickly show you the results we got with the Antutu benchmark test here. We're, we've ran it already, and here are the results. You can see all of them by the category. Gave it an overall total score of 5,349. So when we compare that to the competition, you could tell the original Galaxy S2 model a little bit it edges it out slightly above, above it, but it beats out. It's on par with the LG Optimus 2X and also the Motorola Zoom, and of course it beats out those last generation devices before it. So so far it's looking smooth, but we'll be testing it a little more, see how it compares to the others uh, before it. And if you'd like to learn more about the Samsung Galaxy S2 for T-Mobile, you can check out our website, PhoneRainer.com. This is John V again, guys. Thanks a lot.